Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I normally like to review products and um, figured today I would cover one of Gravel's most well-known products aside from their toiletry kit and that would be the Gravel Blanket. Starting off at about, I think, 110, maybe $100. Um, you get this nice sized blanket. I mean, it covers your legs completely. It has a sleeve, well, I guess a pocket section of the blanket that works as like a Snuggie where you just slip in your feet and it stays in there. Kind of like a potato sack, I guess. And um, what's cool about this blanket is it can convert itself into a pillow. And I didn't think that I would kind of need that feature. I didn't think I'd need this blanket at all until I went on my trip to Utah where it was freezing and they only had enough blankets at the Airbnb for two of my friends. I let them use them. So I brought this with me just to try it out and it held up really well. I wasn't cold at all. It's super soft considering its weight. It's, I would compare the material and the feel of the blanket to say the Patagonia Micro Puff with that kind of feather down uh, feel to it. I didn't know, I didn't think that it would keep me so warm or like, you know, prevent me from sweating if I overheated. It ventilated everything so well. I felt like it was temperature regulating at some point. Um, but yes, about the pillow mode, all you have to do is open this one pocket and stuff the blanket inside of itself like so it does take a while though hang on i'm just gonna do a little trick there we go um so a few things uh i would definitely point out is you're going to get the blanket caught in the zipper a lot and i mean I've only needed to use this as a pillow a few times, but each time I've always gotten the blanket, the outer material stuck, and it always runs the risk of, I don't know, I guess a tear, a rip, something. It always makes me anxious, which is why I kind of try to avoid using this as a pillow. But besides that, I mean, this thing's completely fine. It's the outer layer over here is fleece. This is the same material as the interior of the blanket. It is incredibly comfortable. I've been able to just sleep like this and I don't get any discomfort, anything like that. It has a loop on the side over here. So if you don't wanna use the stuff sack that comes with it, you could totally just hang it off to the side. And if you need a pillow, I mean, hey, it's clipped. It's already prepped for you. Um, but let's get back to the main feature. Because there's a vacant spot available when you're not using it as a pillow, you can use it to store items, even the stuff sack that comes with it. A wallet. Because of the weight inside of the pocket, the blanket will droop down. On the sides, you can probably see that there are some snap buttons on each side. So what that means is, because of the weight, you can just snap this thing shut and that thing's not going anywhere. Speaking of snap buttons, you also have the option over where the leg sleeves are at to keep, it complete, keep the flat completely opened or have it buttoned for each individual leg. Personally, I kinda just would rather have, have it snapped open all the way because you're using it as a blanket for the most part. Now, as previously mentioned with regarding the material, um, I have seen some pictures or videos of people using them as picnic blankets in rugged terrain like grass or, or you know, where there's broken sticks, twigs. And then there's also people that just sit on large boulders and use this as a layer between the two, the both of them. Personally, I wouldn't do that because of how thin it is. I feel like sooner or later you're gonna you're gonna drag it. It'll get snagged and it's gonna tear. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna rip. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend using that for that purpose. I would just use it as a blanket. Another interesting feature of the blanket itself is that it has a sleeve underneath where that pillow uh, pillow zipper is at. So that means you can 
you know, chill out with the blanket over you and keep your hands here so it, the, the rest of the blanket won't just shift around or like slip off or anything like that. You don't want that. Last but not least, I want to talk about the, um, the stuff sack itself. It looks like it has um, rip stop, rip stop stitching, which means in the likely event that there may be a tear forming, that bad boy's not going anywhere. It's not getting any bigger. It's just staying in that one section of the stitching itself. You have a little loop right here that you can use to clip in to, you can use this loop over here to clip it to the backpacks, any one of them but I don't like having too many things dangle around outside of the backpack and it'll just smack people and that's not very nice. Um, lastly, you have this drawstring right here. When I got it, I realized the actual, th the string itself was too long so I, I just ended up putting it in a little knot and I gave enough space for an extra loop just in case I wanted to use this one instead of the uh, smaller one right here. And there's also a button, one of those snap buttons, so you can clip it to the backpack itself in case you don't want to put it in the stuff sack. I think this is a great way to, um, I think this is a great way to keep it in the same place without the risk of losing it. Um, the only nitpick I have besides the zipper, besides the blanket actually getting caught in the zipper, is just the stuff sack itself. It's the method of stuffing it that I don't really like personally, and here's why. Say I'm done using the blanket and I want to put it away, or I gotta go and catch a flight so I have to roll this thing up, and it takes a while to stuff it. Next you're left with this extra space, this extra material, and I'm trying to stuff it in here. Of course, I could be using it wrong, but I'm going based off of the person in Gravel's video that put it back in the, in the, in the bag. Um, it just, it won't stay. It just keeps expanding because of the blanket itself. Even if you use the drawstring and tighten it, there's no use. Now, I think Gravel got a lot of feedback regarding this issue, and upon checking their website, I realized that they made another, um, I guess another variant of the stuff sack itself, where it's more of a roll top, as you would see for like the Matador, um, the Matador flack for the soap bar. It's kind of like that, where you just roll it up, and then there's a buckle that you can attach it to. I think that's a lot, I think that's a better design in terms of, um, I don't know, storage, in case, you know, the blanket is bound to expand, but if you keep rolling it down and then buckle it, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think you, you're you more likely to save a lot more space using, using that than something like this. Other than that, I love the blanket itself. I'm just not a huge fan of the, the way that I have to put it away, if that makes any sense. As I said before, I didn't really expect this to come in handy. I thought this was just like one of those, I thought this was just one of those novelty items that a lot of influencers or travel YouTubers try to push out to other people to buy. Um, I can say firsthand that that is definitely not the case. This is a great product and I definitely recommend bringing it with you no matter where you go. I think personally it should be one of those necessities that you bring with you. You don't need it, but if you have it, I definitely think it's it should be in your backpack. That's just about going to wrap up the video. Um, thank you guys so much, so, so much for just clicking on my thumbnail, on my, my YouTube video, and listening to me ramble on about a <laughs> stinking blanket. Uh, it really means the world to me. I'm doing this as a hobby in the meantime. Um, I'm trying to get over this kind of awkwardness that I get when I'm on film. I really like testing out these products and, and giving you the truth and telling you how I feel about them. Um, you know, I mean, there's tons of other YouTubers that do the same thing that do it hell of a lot better. They've been in the, in the I guess they've been in the community for a good few years. So, 
Um, it really does mean a lot. I think in my next YouTube video, I'm going to do a review on uh, these Chelsea boots from Lems. I saw a video that Odie Matthews made about it, and I decided to um, test them out for myself. And this was, I bought them a while ago, and they've been holding up pretty well so far. So I'm super stoked to make another video about that. Um, if you guys like what you see, please subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas of products for me to test out, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I will definitely get back to you about them, and I'll see you guys in the next video.